In this video, I will show you 10 demented operating systems created by mankind. Well, rather than distributions of one operating system. I hope many of you know that in addition to all known Windows and Mac OS that occupies 95% of the market of operating systems, there is another amazing operating system called Linux. And also, Linux only infects 2-3% of the personal computers in the world, there are an abnormally large number of its distributions. Here is a table of all the Linux distributions known to mankind. Yes, each line is essentially a separate build with its own glitches and deviations. And yes, of all these bootrats, oh, I mean distributions, I looked at 80% of them and selected 8 of the most demented in my opinion operating systems. Ninth place went to an alternative OS, so I left it as a cherry on the top. Watch the video till the end, there is literally a diagnosis in the truest sense of the word. I will show you the operating systems in ascending order. First is the easiest, and in the end is the craziest. And our hit parade of Linux bootrad starts with a system called Viper. The first version was released back in 2011, but I have the latest version installed, it was created in 2016. And the first thing that catches your eyes when you first turn on this wonderful operating system is its futuristic design. On the right side of the desktop is an equally futuristic PC resource monitor, it also shows time and date. Where normal operating systems have a Windows icon, the Viper has a snake head. Nothing more to add. I liked it just because of the design. In 8th place, RIP Linux, a narrowly focused distribution, in its essence designed, as I read from Wikipedia, for system recovery and maintenance. But the design raises questions. Why everything is so red? Why all the functions are hidden on the right mouse click? I guess it was normal for 2011, but now it looks exotic to say at least. Of course, I will not hug Pentagon on it today. Just like the previous one, I added it for its unconventional approach to design. 7th place goes to PeerOS, and it's clear from the first seconds that this is a parody of Apple's macOS, a macOS of the smoker. This folder at the bottom left in macOS is called Finder, and look how cheerful and upbeat it is. You can tell at once that his life is wonderful, he doesn't deny himself anything, and he's very lucky in general. And look how the same icon looks in PRS. It is clear from his exhausted and desperate face that he has nothing but bad luck in his life. He is settled with a pile of debts that would make him 200 years to pay, not including the interest. The mere mention of this fact make him think of going into infinity. In general, as for me, it was borrowed decently. Only the developers have no imagination at all. It should have been called not PRS, but PumpkinOS. After all, as soon as the developers stop supporting the operating system, it obviously turns into a pumpkin. Sixth place is for him. I mean, Chimo. This operating system is made for children, and for children with disabilities ages 3 to 30. I was growing up as not the smartest kid, but even at conscious age, I still have very hard time with these games. I'm probably just dumb though. Uh, let me remind you, although I haven't even said it yet, this operating system is from 2010. And for those years, it's quite good. A friendly interface, attractive design, and given how many games are installed on it, it is strange that this operating system hasn't been popular among masses. The fifth place goes to Commodore OS. This operating system was developed by an American company called Commodore USA. It lasted for only two years, from 2010 to 2012, and it was closed due to the death of its founder. It seems like this OS was intended for the computers that this company produced, and I will be honest, I am impressed. For those years and such animation, all actions have their sounds. I like it the OS for its design, it's a subgenre of some kind of science fiction, something like cyberpunk. It seems to me that if the creator of the company hadn't died, then really, without any kidding, it would have been a great competitor to Apple, because from what I understand, that company was doing quite well, they were stumping computers under the guise of keyboards, and it sold well. Fourth place. Hannah Montana OS. They used to have this show on TV. It's about a girl who lives a double life. By day she's Miley Stewart, played by Miley Cyrus, and by night she turns into... That's exactly what it would be like if I were written script for this show, and it would have been a hundred times more interesting, more popular, but unfortunately the girl at night turns into a famous pop singer Hannah Montana. Well, the distraught fans made an operating system in her honor. 
And god, how great everything is done here. Why Windows 10 doesn't have that? Everything is really on high level. It's like wall separate world. I just can't get over of the fact that this distribution is not popular. Despite of the fact that it's old, it still looks modern and usable. Third place, Satanist Edition 666. There were not lots of information on the site where I downloaded it. It was said only that it was a wonderful operating system with pre-installed programs, free metal music, but unfortunately I cannot turn it on because the sound and virtual machine for some reason doesn't work. As it seems to me, this compilation was made by people who have read occult literature. What happened to Firefox? Second place, Red Star OS, an operating system made in DPRK or in North Korea. Who the hell knows how it got on the regular internet, because in case who didn't know, North Korea is a terrible dictatorship, only not the proletarian one, but the top leadership of DPRK, whose power is betrayed by inheritance. And there is no internet in the country, or rather there is, but only locally, and it turns out that those who lived there left the country and leaked the operating system to the net. It looks a lot like Mac OS. If PROS was the OS of Heavy Smoker, then the Red Star OS is the OS of Dictator. Instead of Stump, it is a star, and everything is green. It's the only OS I was scared to put even in the virtual machine. I don't know how to explain it, it felt like Kim Jong-un himself was watching me. Yes, there is definitely a surveillance here. Everything in Korean, the internet of course doesn't work, and the honorable first place goes to Temple OS. I am a generous man, so I will give it 10 cores and 20 threads of my CPU, 25 gigabytes of RAM, and as much as 16 megabytes of video memory. Unlike previous operating systems, this OS is written in its own language Holy C. It was created by an American programmer Terry Davis, who by the way suffered from schizophrenia. One day I realized that I was destined to give the world a tool through which people can communicate with God. It was his words, so yes, the character is very interesting, even more interesting than this operating system. He wrote it for 10 years on his own. But a terrible thing happened in 2018, and Terry Davis died, being hit by a train. No one knows for sure was his death intentional or accidental. May he rest in peace. But we'll see what his OS is all about. To be honest, I don't understand a damn thing in American. But the first thing that came to my mind when looking at the Temple OS that its design is similar to the bias of the American Megatrend, only at maximum graphics settings. It even has some games, primitive of course, but I will remind you that all of this was created by the one person. And as I see, Terry Davis, perhaps without realizing it, or maybe even realizing it, by creating this OS, he played the role of such a creator and wanted to realize through the operating system the communication of people with himself. After all, the OS wasn't finished before his death. This is just my guess, I myself haven't delved into his work, but I think that the character is quite interesting. There will no be any links to download these butterites, I mean distributions. So who needs it, look for yourself. I will only leave a list in the description under the video with their names. Write in the comments which OS you liked most and which would you like to use. Among all of the distributions, I personally like it Commander OS. Distribution. Why this word is so ugly? Sounds like some kind of disease, like tuberculosis. And forget to rate this video, subscribe to the channel, sell your soul to the devil, and have a nice day.